Hey, it's Webs here with another Heroic Bounty Guide. This time it's going to be Shade of Orion, which unlocks the equipment, Smooth Transformation for Gan Greymane. For this, I completed it two ways. The first one being Good Old Fire, which we're using Belinda with Lesser Water Elemental, Gedin with Arc of Collaboration, Ragnaros with Blazing Rune, and Chi-Chi with Blazing Man, with Cookie with Appetizers on the bench, and Gen just being here to be here. To get up to the boss fight and on the boss fight itself, you're mainly going to be using Flame Dart, Inferno, and Die Insects. When you need to bring in Chi-Chi, you can actually start using Firestorm and Blazing Song on rotation. And for the second way I did this, which is a little bit of a more new player friendly build, is to be using dragons. Most of the mercenaries in this team are all rare mercenaries, so they should be a little bit easier to actually get your hands on. To get up to the boss fight, we are using Sinestra with Mana Brooch, Kazakus with Wild Vine, Yulon with Pearl of Yulon, though in the replay I'm pretty sure I use Jade Fire Spear instead, but this is way better if you are going down a pure dragon route. Onyxia, we are using Razor Sharp Claws as our equipment. Again, doesn't really matter. And for Nefarian, we should be using Chromatic Dragonflight, but again, I'm pretty sure I use Experiment Subjects, but Dragonflight is just going to be a lot better because it is a pure dragon team. To get up the, to the boss fight, I'm basically swapping between Mana Barrier and Twilight Extinction, and on turn one, using Raking Swipe on whatever I need to, putting up a taunt with Build a Golem on Kazakus, using Elon's Jade Gus on most turns, though you can use Developing Miss so you can actually spawn the three Rush Golems instead with Kazakus for a turn. If one of the first three mercenaries actually dies, you should probably bring in Nefarian as your backup choice, or if there is just a lot of casters, and bring him in instead of Yulon in the starting up lineup. That all being said, let's look at how I did the boss fight with fire first, and then we'll look at how I did this with dragons. Okay, so for this, we're going to be putting down Belinda, Geddon, and Ragnaros. It doesn't actually really matter what our roles are going to be, mainly due to the fact that they will change up a bunch. We are going to freeze the shade because that does make our life a lot easier. Most of the things here are going to actually stay the original roles they are because Ragnaros doesn't actually get affected by them. And then we're still going to focus down the shade. Probably should have actually used the Molten Blast because I think that would have actually killed the shade. That's fine. And Geddon's going to die, so we're going to bring in GG next. I'm going to use Firestorm, use the Meteor on the middle add, and then use Grease on Burn damage to AoE everything. That should kill most of it. And we just gotta finish the, out this turn with a Flame Dart. Okay, so we don't actually have all of our mercenaries alive, which makes this a little bit more complicated. But if you had Kazakus, you would probably want to put him in. If you can actually find the treasure where it does 10 damage whenever a golem dies, doing the three rush adds is actually really, really good. That's 30 damage per turn, and it doesn't change his type. So watch out for that treasure just in case. I'm going to start with the Nefarian, Sinestra, and Yulon.
probably going to use mana very art you on just to keep her alive. Or we could actually use Twilight Extinction too, I guess. And try to use Shadow Flame just because it should do some damage to everything. We could also try to use the Chromatic Infusion on the add just so we can steal some attack from that and then ram it into the shade i'm gonna put in anixia next Trying to get the shade dead as quickly as humanly possible. Going to use the shadow flame here. Try to heal up Sinestra. Use Anixia's first ability. This should also turn Anixia into a protector, which means. Targeting the fighter is probably a pretty good position. No. Then we should be able to finish it off pretty quickly here. Mostly relying on Sinestra for the most part. Gen's just in here for a body, to be honest. And swapping in between the Twilight Extinction and Anot. We're also going to probably want to use the heal on Anixia just because they are going to be putting up a taunt and heal. So as long as they don't hit Anixia, the next turn we can do a big AoE with Anixia. Alright, so I hope this guide was helpful for you, and if it was, please do like, comment, and subscribe, and until next time, bye-bye.